Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Unlocking Your Book live show. We're absolutely, totally live, and there's people in the background. They're making faces, and the thing is, is I'm like, cool, let's do this. I'm totally excited, but I got a question for you. Have you ever felt like you wanted to live a life that was fearless? I mean, every single day we are faced with something to fear and to worry about. Fear has touched you. Fear has touched me. Fear has touched every one of us in some capacity, in some way, whether it's completely uh, entangled us or enchained us. Fear touches all of our lives, but it's how we actually respond to that fear. How do we actually respond to the fear? Who do we turn to? What do we turn to? Where do we go? That's what matters most because we're always going to be faced with fearful situations and circumstances. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven says this clearly. It says, God has not given you a spirit of fear. So there's a, an encouragement for you and for me. There's a promise. There's something for you and for me to stand on that though we are all faced with fearful situations, we can live fearless. We do not have to agree with. We do not have to partner with something God hasn't given us. And he has not given you, he has not given me a spirit of fear. For the entire month of July, we are doing the Fearless Living Series. Doesn't that sound <laughs> amazing to live a fearless life. We believe it's possible. Jesus made it possible. So we want to challenge you to join us all through the month of July. It starts July 6th, Monday, July 6th. That's next week. It's Monday through Friday. Invite a friend. Go to the messengerlife.com and join us as we dismantle limits so that you can walk in your God-sized purpose because Jesus paid for you to have a fearless life. Go to the messengerlife.com. It's totally free. It's a free Facebook group. We do a short little devotional and we want to empower you. And now for today, I mean, we've got an awesome show today. My lovely, beautiful wife is going to be joining us in just a few minutes. She's coming on the show to share a devotional today with us. It's going to empower you to live fearlessly. And then we also have our special guest. She is a an author, and she's one of our Unlocking Your Book Messenger. She's one of the Messenger Book uh, uh, me uh, excuse me, authors, and she has written a book called Daily Reflections, Finding Your Identity in Genesis. So we're super excited to have her. Everybody get ready. Share this with your friend. Call your grandma right now and tell her, get on the phone. Get on the line and find grandma what's happening now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Mrs. Yancey, how are you? She's the she fine. she's well, I'm special, but uh, <laughs> she's actually my wife. I mean, is that like amazing? She's actually <laughs> my wife, and she's going to share a devotional. You're sharing a devotional with us today, yes. and she'll be here with us every single Wednesday. We're super pumped, super excited. We're going to pump you up. We are super <laughs> excited for the whole month of July. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like do you okay. Um <laughs> hi. <laughs> God's so good, God's so faithful. We just love you. We love Jesus and Jesus loves us. Thank goodness. Thank God for God. Yes. For the whole yes. month of July while we're doing the fearless living, Teresa's gonna pop on here on Wednesday on our live show, and she'll be kind of breaking down fearless living and going little bit deeper in our lessons that we're going to be doing the fearless living. So make sure you go to the messengerlife.com and join it. It's totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Just come be a part of the community. There's about, I don't know, 700 other folks in there and we're going to do this. Now, what are you unpacking for us today? Today we are going to be talking about how Jesus wants to pull us out of our comfort zone into a journey of discovery. Pull us him. out, pull us in. Okay, yes. rock and roll. Let's do it. Okay, so Jesus wants to take you and me on a personal, 
intimate, adventurous journey of discovery with him. All right. So these are my thoughts this morning. Okay. I'm thinking about the things that we know. All right. So just go with me here a little bit. There are things that you know that you know, right? I know that I know how to make a lasagna. I know oh, how to yeah. write. Mm -hmm. I know how to clean my house, but I don't always enjoy it. But I know the things that I know. There are things that you know that you don't know. Right. Right. I know I don't know how to build a website. That's why I have other friends in my life. There are things that we know that we don't know, and we're okay with those things, right? Did you say friend? <laughs> You're my best friend. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've worked hard for that other title, so uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. <laughs> there are things that you know that you don't know that you don't know. How's that for a mind twister? <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> okay, so there are things you don't know that you don't no, that's what I'm how I meant to say it. Okay. And there are things that God wants you to know. So the the first two we're kind of okay with, but it's the second two that are an opportunity for us to grow. The things that we don't know that we don't know. But God knows those Let it things. Grow. Let <laughs> God it knows grow. those things that we don't know. And he wants to bring us into more truth. So yeah. Jesus wants to lead us on a journey of discovery. He doesn't want us to stay in that box of the things that we know that we know, mm -hmm. the things that we know that we don't know. And we're content with that, right? And he wants to bring us out into the unknown. So he we can discover to... things we don't know. Exactly. Oh, yes. see, now, now I know. Yeah. Okay. It might sound like a scripture. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, so this is what Jesus said one time to his friends. His, his disciples were first coming to him, and they said, Jesus, take us where are you going? Where are you staying? Where are you going? What are you doing? And Jesus said to them in, in John 1, verse 39, he said, come and discover for yourselves. Come and discover for yourselves. And we see there the heart of Jesus. He didn't just give them the answer. He could have said, hey, I'm staying at so-and-so's house. He said, no, come and discover. And he says that to us as well. Come, come with me. Let's go on a journey of discovery of the things you don't, you don't know yeah. yet, right? Okay, so often... We're stuck in this, asking for miracles, help, yeah. breakthrough, deliverance, direction. Those are good things. Mm -hmm. God wants to give us those things, right? Mm -hmm. But we should also be asking for wisdom we don't have. Right. Understanding of God's ways, knowledge that we don't have, and revelation that can only come from heaven, the hidden manna yeah. that is for us, all right? So because we need, we don't just need a short-term fix, we need a long-term understanding of God's ways, yeah. right? Jesus isn't our fix, he's our friend. Yeah. And he is fun and he is adventurous, he's kind of wild, and he wants to take us by the hand and pull us onto a journey of discovering more about him. So I'm just going to close with a few scriptures that talk about that, okay? This is Jeremiah 33, 3. We're good all book. familiar. <laughs> good, good book, good name. <laughs> We're all familiar with this scripture, but think of it in terms of God wanting to pull you out of your comfort zone. He says, hey, you call upon me and I will answer you and I'll show be there. you it doesn't say that oh. and show you great and mighty things which you know not that is an invitation from the heart of Whoa. God I want to show you those Whoa. things John 8 32 says for if you embrace the truth it will release true freedom into your lives. Hmm. You might know it better as you will know the truth and the truth will make you more free. Yeah. So there's a knowledge that God wants to bring us into to release more freedom into our lives, but we have to want it. Come we on. have to ask for it. Revelation 2, 9, Jesus says to the victorious overcomers, he will give the hidden manna that's reserved just for them. Yeah. Do you want it? Come on. Are you going after that hidden manna? And then in James 1, 5, we all know this scripture. It says, if anyone longs to be wise, is that you, me? Ask God for wisdom and he will give it, give me, give me, right? Give He's not holding back mm -hmm. the wisdom, the understanding, the revelation that we need. Mm -hmm. He just wants us to come to him and call and ask for it. And then finally, this scripture, this is so beautiful, Proverbs 8, 32, listen to this. If you wait on wisdom at wisdom's doorway mm -hmm. longing to hear a word mm -hmm. for every day wow. joy will break forth within Come you on. as you listen for what i'll say so do you hear that invitation from the heart Come of on. jesus 
be saying, I'll be there. just you and me, you know, not yeah. through this person, that person, but yeah. right from his heart, he wants to teach us some things. Yes. Come on. That's awesome. Now this is it. We, will you just take a minute and then we're going to, we're going to bring on uh, Chrissy and bring on Mindy, but we just lead us in a prayer, you know, so we can yes. kind of activate into yes. this it's so that we can know what we don't know. Because when we know what we don't know, he's going to tease me about that. All no, day. no, I like it. It's cool. <laughs> but when we know when we don't what we don't know, then we know. <laughs> okay, God, we just thank you thank that you, you know Jesus. you know the things that we don't know, and we yeah. thank you for the invitation yes, from God. your heart. You, you want God. to pull us into your confidence. You want to share your secrets with us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And it's personal to you. You have an invitation with my name on it. You have an invitation you, with Jesus. each person that's listening right now. Their name is on the invitation. You're wanting to pull them to your heart mm -hmm. and take them on an adventure. So God, today mm -hmm. we just say yes. We're yeah. not going to live in fear, stuck in our mundane worries. We're going to bring those worries and lay them at your feet and then go on on an adventure with you of discovery because you have so much more for us. And we say, yes, Lord, we say yep. yes to your invitation Yes, in Jesus name. Amen. Cause we want to know what we don't know. <laughs> and now we're going to bring on our very good buddy, friend and co-host Dr. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> and there we are. Oh, yeah. Squeeze it. Hi. Squeeze it. We're, we're like at the mall. Get it's closer. Like we're like at the mall. <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah. So we got to get closer. We're going to just do things a little different today. You got to lean in. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're the Siamese Mary twins. Okay. Uh, so Chrissy, our special guest today is Mindy Robleski, and she's talking about her new book. She's publishing her book with messenger books. Tell us a little bit about what she's coming on the show, this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has an amazing book where uh -oh. she takes her readers on. Yeah, a journey. Oh, can you delayed? Oh goodness. Well, she takes okay. her readers on a journey through the book of Genesis and unveils identity and how God reveals identity to, you know, his people to us through the book of Genesis. And this is a daily devotional that she's written and unpacked and it's, it's so rich and it's so beautiful and it's yeah. going to bless your socks off. And we're just so honored to be working with her on this pro project. <laughs> yeah. It's totally cool. We're, we're, it's so good that we decided to publish it. It's really, really good. And Mindy's cool. Mindy's really awesome. She's really special lady, not special. Like, like I'm special, but special like Mindy is special. And she's, She's going to come on and just bless our socks off. But one more time, I just want to encourage everybody to join us on the fearless living. If you just, would you just, you know, one more time, everybody go to the messenger life.com, go to the website, sign up, join the free Facebook group. We're going to spend the entire month of July talking about fearless living and we want to encourage you we want to empower you we want to dismantle that means to destroy we want to dismantle fear in our lives especially for a time of this so let's have mindy come on Yay. are you ready mindy here we go ready rock and roll everybody give a round of applause for mindy hello Hello, this, is how, this is how round of applause works. Everybody watching, round of applause. That's enough. No, you, not you guys. Just oh. <laughs> but it's okay. It Hi, Mindy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're doing fantastic, doing fantastic. So you're publishing a book, I hear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's coming along. As it's still in the editing stage, so um, I'm I, I'm just waiting to see what the next you know level is and and where we go from there. But it's been exciting. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I, I want Chrissy to to dive into this, but I I have to kind of tie this into the fearless living. What we're going to be focusing on. So is there anything about writing a book? and being a messenger that feels a little fearful? 
Um, yeah, I, I guess in a way, you know, as um, I'm writing, just wanting to, um, you know, uh, write what the Lord has for me to say, but sometimes questioning myself and I, I wouldn't really say really fearful, but just questioning myself as to, mm -hmm. is this really what the Lord wants me to do? Um, am I doing it on my own and feeling like sometimes I have a, a block and I can't write anymore. Oh, it's not worth it. You know, it's too much work. I, yeah. uh, and those type of things more than, um, actually fear, but, mm -hmm. um, definitely it, it's, it's not easy <laughs> to do. Um, and especially I had originally started out, I, I was going to do a d devotional through the entire Old Testament. And it, it took me like two and a half years. I, I had a, I have a group called Daily Reflections and I started there. But then when I went to put everything together, um, I had actually written very little on Genesis. And I was like, what was I thinking? You know, mm -hmm. and so as I was going back and rewriting things, then, you know, my husband said, well, maybe it should just be Genesis. And so I was because I was already on on like chapter 22. There's 50 chapters and I already had 50 days. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, that's probably the way to go. And, you know, after praying about it, and it, it was the right way to go. Yeah. yeah. I learned a lot. Yeah. That's awesome, Mindy. Why don't you just take some time and tell everybody that's watching um, about your book. Remind us the title and tell us about the book and what the reader will get as they read it. Okay. Well, um, it's called Daily Reflections, and I named it that because that's what I had named my Facebook page because um, I was doing it not always daily, but pretty much daily. And um, it, it just kind of started out as getting to learn to know who the people of God are. And I, cause I have had many Christians over the years say, well, you know, I really don't understand the old Testament. I really don't spend much time in the old Testament. You know, we're in the new Testament, but if you read the new Testament, there's so many references to the old Testament that if you don't understand the old Testament, then how do you really understand the new Testament and why Jesus came and how it all started. And so that's kind of where my heart was to just, um, you know, when I think of the very first words, when it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was formless and empty and darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And, and I think, what was it like at that stage? You know, what were they thinking? I mean, I know they had the plan and I know that it was going to all come to fruition, but it, it's the beginning. And, you know, I, I mean, there's so much uh, in the world out there about, well, when did the world begin and the science and all that, but it's so simple. If you just read those words and you believe them, and that's where I come from, that I believe that that's true, then it's not a very difficult thing to, you know, do this, uh, the things that come after that, to understand the things that happen after that and why we're in the place that we're in today. Yeah. And so that's kind of where it came from. And, and so I just wanted to, um, I struggled with my identity as a um, as a young person, and I brought that out in my book that my dad was a football player for the San Francisco 49ers. Um, and so he was very, very popular. And in our little realm, he was very popular and a lot of people knew him. And so when I would go places, um, I was always associated with being Dan's daughter. And, you know, I like that. I mean, because I it made you popular and it made you, you know, well known. But as you get older, you kind of want to find your own self. Mm -hmm. And so when I was going through that, it's like, well, who am I? You know, what really, what is my purpose? And if I'm not my dad's daughter, then who am I? <laughs> you know, and that's kind of where, so that's how I started the book out, just explaining that a little bit. And then mm -hmm. as each person um, is introduced, you know, Adam comes in. Well, what were Adam, what was Eve thinking? How long had she been hanging out at that tree? You know, it didn't, it wasn't just a one-time event where, you know, Satan spoke to her and she just grabbed the, the tree, the fruit and ate it and said, you know, oh, uh, the, the, fruit, the fruit looks good. I'll go ahead and eat it. No, she'd been hanging out there. She'd been hanging out there for a while. Just like the Bible says, we're tempted by our own, um, we, we allow ourselves to be tempted and it's not something that happens Generally, it's not something that just happens at the snap of the finger. I mean, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but a lot of temptation is incremental. 
oh, well, I didn't really have any consequences from that. So maybe it wasn't so bad, you know, oh, you know, that, that wasn't so bad. And so what were they really thinking? And, and I just try to relate it to how they, as the people of God, um, uh, relate to us today. We're the same. We're still people today. We still have those feelings. We still have those doubts. We still have the circumstances of life. And the, the only thing was that I really struggle with is they had a perfect world and they still, they still, that wasn't good enough for them. So really, why should we um, be surprised that it's still going on today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's kind of where it comes from. I just want to lead people to, to introduce them to basically our forefathers, the foundation of our faith, who these people are and how they laid the foundation and what it means and um, why it's relevant to us today, because it is really relevant. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, I have two questions. And my, my first question, I'll ask it, but then um, I want you to answer it last. The first question is, do you have plans and answer this last? Do you have plans to write another book? So just giving you some time to think about that. And then uh, my second question that I want you to answer first, can you just like talk to us a little bit about the process, the, uh, the structure, what, what has been good, what has not been so good, maybe some of the struggle of as you've been writing this book, how has unlocking your book and all the, the course, the mentoring, all of that, how has that been for you, the, the process? Just lay it all on the line, all the negative stuff direct just to, to Chrissy and Tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, it probably wouldn't have happened without unlocking your book. Wow. Uh, I can tell you that because um, wow. you, you did, I think I've mentioned a couple times, I did self-publish a book back in 2013. Um, it was a devotional as well. And um, I knew I needed to market. I knew I needed to do certain things, but I really honestly had no idea how to do those things. And I had somebody helping me to try to build a website and it wasn't going well because he kept asking me, well, what do you want? And I'm like, well, that's why I want you to help because I don't know what I want. Yeah. Yeah. But listening to the mentors, you know, when that started out, each one of them had such a unique um, story and such encouragement for for us would be authors, you know, to, to build this up and to not to not um, lose faith, so to speak, in God's message through us. And and then, um, you know, and then with Chrissy, um, when you gave your module, I learned a lot from you, the process that you went through with writing your book. And one thing that really uh, stuck with me was, you know, you talked about having when you use uh, other people's material and make sure that you, you document that. Well, I had not been really good at doing that, you know, and so um, that really opened my eyes. And that was one of the big things when I got some of the edits back from Kevin, you know, he's like, well, I need this reference, that reference. This reference. I'm like, <laughs> Fortunately, I had about 50% of them because, you know, after I listened to you, um, I started really making, uh, keeping much better notes as to my references and stuff like that. So that I learned a lot. And then, you know, with you, Jeremiah, just kind of, I'm, I'm a structured person and I need kind of need a plan. And then you uh, going through everything that we need to do, the process, it, it was a little overwhelming, you know, because it seems like a lot, but I understand that you're trying to give us the whole picture and yet um, then going, you know, going back and, um, and doing it incrementally to, to help us along, which, you know, still I've gotten overwhelmed uh, quite a few times because I'm not real techie. So um, anyway, but so in those regards, you know, unlocking your book has really helped me and, and helped me in my writing because I knew that the day was coming for us to do the questionnaire and to submit our manuscripts. So I had a deadline and I kept saying, OK, Lord, I, when that day comes, I want to be able to get my manuscript in. So I finished it like a day before. Wow. And um, and my husband had proofread for me, um, you know, so that uh, I could have some other eyes. And that was really helpful and then made some changes. And and uh, it would have been um, submitted a little earlier, except I had technical difficulties. So <laughs> so anyway, well, yeah, okay. I, I, I honestly don't think I would be here without unlocking your book. So. Well, we're glad. Yeah. Now, 
Do you have another book in the pipeline that you're working on? Well, yeah, I have several. Actually, I I love to write, and um, I, uh, I I told you this way back. It was been a few months ago, but as I was writing the Genesis book, the Lord gave me another book, uh, and it's a fictional book, and it's about um, it's called Journey with Joe, and um, it's basically a young woman who was. Um, kidnapped into prostitution and I meet her at this deli and um, she sits down and just starts talking to me and uh, and then walks away but then she comes back and uh, we kind of develop this relationship well her life was horrible horrible life and all as I'm going along you know I'm, I'm talking to her she does come to the Lord and then through that she even starts revealing more and then as we're as I'm writing the book, the, the Lord said to me that even though this is a fictional book, he said to me, this this is what your life would have looked like if you had not chosen to follow me. Wow. And so it was. Yeah. So anyway, so there's that. And then I was a full time caregiver for two and a half years, 24 um, seven mm-hmm. with um, a, a dear um lady in my life. I called her my aunt. And um, that was um, a very, very, very difficult journey, especially towards the end, because I just felt like I was losing my mind. And um, the Lord made a miraculous way for me to find a place to uh, put her in an assisted living home uh, six months before she passed away. And that kept my sanity. But all through that, <laughs> I've journaled. And some of the, and cause she would, she would do just crazy, crazy things. And so I thought about once in a while, maybe getting those journals out and seeing about maybe putting a book together to try to help uh, people who are caregivers um, to know that they're not going crazy, that when somebody has dementia and um, you know, that they are not the person that they used to be and they do and say things that are you know, not normal. And right, it's, right. it's not the person who's taking care of them. So there's that. And, and then I had another one too. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was called, I, I started this couple years before I did unlocking your book. I got this um, writing um, a course through great courses mm-hmm. and um, Dr. Armstrong, her name is. And so she's like this very prim and proper a uh, woman, it's in her like 40s and a professor and uh, very meticulous. And so I started listening to her. Well, like two or th- three lessons in, all of a sudden I got so inspired and I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. I've got about 60,000 words, you know, uh, just of my life and things like that. I don't know if it's something I would publish, but it was very inspiring and it got me to, to writing and kind of got the writing juices going. So mm-hmm. anyway, yeah. uh-huh. we'll see. Yeah, and maybe another devo- maybe another devotional because I do have the Old Testament yeah. done, but now I'm kind of second guessing myself as to maybe I need to do a little more research, you know, mm-hmm. after Genesis. But anyway, wow. you're yeah. a well, Mindy. You're a well of experience and time with the Lord. Um, I have I have one question for you, um, and I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to ask you. Uh, so. Why writing? Why why do you write? What's your why? Well, I when I was a young person in my teens, I used to write journal all the time. And uh, I can't tell you why, except that when after I became a Christian and I wished I had those journals still, I don't have them now. But after I became a Christian, I think I, I think I destroyed them, actually, because I, I had a very tumultuous say between my six. 16 to 20 years old, I knew I was going down the wrong path, you know, and I, like I said, I'm thankful that the Lord called me, but, um, so I would write and I would write. And after I became a Christian, I started reading those journals. Well, a lot, a lot of those writings were prayers to God. And I had no, I, when I'm reading them, I was like, Oh, I have been crying out to God for a long time. And I didn't even know it. I didn't even know that that's what I was writing. And so, um, and, and I love words. I mean, I was a court reporter for 30 years and, um, you know, I wrote other people's words for all those years. Um, and I, I heard, I heard some interesting things. I mean, I was part of the impeachment process when, uh, 
President Clinton was impeached, and um, I don't know if you remember Oliver North, but he he was um, uh, prosecuted, and I was one of the court reporters on his trial, and so, you know, I, I, I've done some kind of famous trials and met a lot of famous people, but I've always been behind the scenes, you know, never out there, I'm, I'm, and this, this has been a really coming out of my comfort zone because I have always been a behind the scenes person. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't care about the spotlight. Um, it doesn't matter to me. And so I just I but I love to see other people shine. And um, and, and then I'm hopeful, you know, through what you guys are doing and, and then hopefully through my book that it will help other people find who they are in Christ, because um, that's the only way to go. You know, it's I, I have a niece who's a, a and a physician's assistant, and she works with people that have mental problems and stuff. And uh, she's just shared with me a little bit. And and I just said to her, you know, God doesn't make mistakes. She's not a Christian, but I said, you know what? God doesn't make mistakes. He made us who we are because that's who He wanted us to be. And she didn't really say anything, but I believe that with all my heart. And the only way to discover that is through knowing Jesus Christ. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. Well, Mindy, we are so grateful for you and thank you for your humility and your willingness to be a voice, to be a messenger, to be someone that will speak into people's lives, share your story, be vulnerable, and literally help unpack God's word and the identity that they should have, that they can have in Jesus. And we're, we're so grateful uh, and very excited to be on this journey with you. And so oh, thank you. It's, it's going to be a kick in the pants. Yeah. See this book come, come out and getting launched and for people to be a part of this process. Super excited for you. You're you thank are you. a blessing. You are mm-hmm. a blessing. Oh, well, you are too. Thank you so much. Well, I really appreciate you guys. And if, even though we haven't met, I've come to love you. And, you know, and, and like I said, I want to bring my husband in a little bit into this so that he can get to know the people that I'm getting to know because, um, you know, he's always in the background. I yeah, know you mentioned one time, he's always walking back and forth. <laughs> Since we have, a, we have an office we share actually. <laughs> it's kind of in the back of the house and he, he just always seems to be going back and forth. <laughs> Yeah. When I'm not on video, but anyway, he's a, he's a great, great guy. Yeah. And we'll be married seven years in November. So that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That was a real God thing too. So that's mm-hmm. great. Cause I had never been married before and his wife, he had, I, um, lost his wife unexpectedly. She came down with a, a disease that was, had no cure. And mm-hmm. so anyway, and a mutual friend um, introduced us. And so we we met in August. Um, he proposed in September, and we got married in November. <laughs> so, oh, wow! Yeah, and, uh, and I and I told a, a neighbor of mine the other day. I said, you know, we've never had one argument. I mean, not that we've agreed on everything, but we've never yelled at each other or had one argument. She said, "What? What? <laughs> what <can> that be?" <laughs> so, That's awesome. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Mindy, for coming on with us today. We were super blessed to interview you as an author. You know, yes. um, you are Mindy Robleski, the author, and we are so, so blessed to have you thank with you. us in this. You shine so bright and you overflow with passion and yeah. it's so it's contagious. So you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. And um, we're here cheering you on every step of the way. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. And we'll have you back once you have the book in hand. Okay. So everybody, we'll have you back for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for the other people too who have those coming out. I mean, there's some wonderful, powerful, impactful stories coming out. It's exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. Thanks so much. We appreciate you, Mindy. Bless you. (laughs) Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Ah, wonderful. So cool. Always amazing. It's, you know, it's like when we started this whole thing, Chrissy, when we started the Unlocking Your Book course, you know, and you, we got, you know, 350 some people that signed up to do this course. And in the beginning, when you first start, you start writing, going through the classes, going through the courses, putting in the work. You know, someone like Mindy or anyone else that went through the course, you're thinking, man, am I ever 
going to get done? Are you ever going to get finished with this? And the reality is, is there's not just one destination. There's all these really cool wins and really cool milestones. But when you embrace that calling to the messenger life, even when you publish the book and you're shipping the books out and it's actually happening, which six months ago, you didn't think it was going to happen. Maybe a year ago, you didn't think it was going to happen. And then it's happening. God's already got you on a trajectory for the next thing because you've embraced the messenger life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. Everybody that started with us, they took one little step, you know, and then they just kept taking the each, each step in faith, saying no to fear. And uh, Mindy's such a beautiful representation of fruit of that obedience. Absolutely. Yeah. She was one, she was one of the first people that, 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 that joined uh, mm -hmm. through our partnership with uh, Brian Simmons. And he was one of our core mentors. And that was just so awesome uh, for that whole process. And now here we are six months later and we've got, uh, 91 people in, in publishing. And so it's super exciting, super, super exciting. But I would, I, I, I have to, uno mas, that, that's, uh, that's French, German, and I think Swahili for one more time, is I want to make sure that we let everybody know that you can go to themessengerlife.com and join us for the entire month of July. It starts Monday, July 6th. So every day, Monday through Friday, we're releasing a video teaching uh, to help you with fearless living for such a time as this. We want to empower you. Oh, isn't that nice? I put a capital I. But anyway, um, I'll have to talk to my editors about that. <laughs> but you want to join us for the fearless living uh, it's myself and Chrissy and Teresa and our crew and our team. And we've actually got a couple other people going to be joining us. And we're super, super excited to unpack for the month of July, fearless living. It impacts everybody. All of us have to deal with it. And, 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 which is, and is English for and. Chrissy <laughs> Nelson is her book, Slaying the Giant of Fear. Its official release is August 4th. And it goes into pre-war pre-order. It's going to be in pre-order. It's going to be pre-order in just a couple of weeks. So be watching out for that. So, so it's, it's a, it's the perfect time to have slain the giant of fear and the fearless living and, and, and that's English for and, uh, uh, Chrissy is putting together a six part, six part, right? Just yeah, six part. So seven. <laughs> It's six and a half, six. I might five. add one. <laughs> yeah, a six to seven part digital course. So you'll get the book and then you also have the option to get the six to seven, 6.38, maybe something like that, uh, digital course on slaying the giant of fear. So we're going to make that available to everyone. So we're super excited. Please go to the Messenger Life. Dot com. Join us for the month of July. Starts July 6th. That's next Monday. And until then, um, should we do God bless um should we do that no. one? You want do you want to do the national anthem? No. I could do it. You, you could. You want me to do the national anthem? <laughs> My kids should come on and do that one day. They they do oh. it. Yeah. How's it, go? How's it start? Oh, thank oh, you. Okay. Oh. Oh, say can you see no, by the no. dawn's early.